you're just tuning in, we're having so much fun sharing fun memories of Christmas and what Christmas means to us and how we spent our day. Um, let us share what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. And we have a friend in the house, Nama Efanga. <laughs> she is a behavioral coach and also an image consultant. And she's joined us all the way from Uyo. Ah, oh. yes. <laughs> she's sending, I mean, she's spending holiday in Uyo. Unama, thank you so much for joining us. Nama thank Ethana. you for having me. Thank you so much. You're looking so pretty in your Christmas, you know, all Christmas. You look all Christmassy. <laughs> in fact, you I'm are the real Mrs. Claus. Santa right now. <laughs> So, Nama, tell us, uh, first of all, let us hear fun memories, because I know you have a, a, a large family as well. Um, so, for those that do not know, Nama's, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, her maiden name is Omera, so it's a big family. Oh, Omera. Yeah, so okay. maybe you should share fun memories of Christmas first, before we now know what happened today, what you did today, and all of that. What's your fun, your fun memory of Christmas that you have? Oh, I mean, when you guys were talking about the bangers and the things, I remember one of the Christmases when my cousins will come back and at mid, you know, in the night, we'll just go outside and throw bangers at people's compound. And when yeah. they start shouting, we'll just take off and run away, you know. But it was so much fun as young people. We didn't have a care in the world. Absolutely. So it was just like, you know, just celebrating family and friends yeah so what's the one thing you miss the most you know if you want to compare christmas growing up what's that one thing you miss hmm oh well i i really don't have a, okay well probably a different location now because now i'm married i'm with kids so it's not like going back to my village anymore it's more of coming back home to my husband's people and celebrating with my mother-in-law, my sister's-in-law, and just enjoy it. So I actually still enjoy it. It's just a different location now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if you were to describe what Christmas means to you as a person, as Noma Efanga, what would Christmas, what would you say Christmas is to you? Hmm. Well, for me, the absolute feeling of love of peace and family is very, very important. And this is, this I'm enjoying more than ever now in the COVID season than before, mm -hmm. because for the rest, for the better part of the year, I, I didn't see my family and um, it was difficult, you know, having to call all the time, do video calls, and it's not the same as when you see them physically. Absolutely. So I, I really cherish it even more now that we've, we've bonded physically, seeing grandma, seeing grandpa, it's like such a huge blessing, even for the kids. And um, it's so memorable that it's, it's, it's humbling that you can still build such memories even during the COVID season. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> you want to come in? <laughs> oh, yes. There was also, when she was talking, there was something that actually, you know, struck me. There was also one naughty thing they used to do, the boys in Benin used to do. When the girls, they see a girl walking, you know, all Dressed with her up. swag, <laughs> just walking and shaking her body with all the swag, and they would just walk close to the girl and throw the fireworks. Oh. And before you say Jack Robinson, <laughs> The girl, takes once off. it explodes, you see her running for her life, <laughs> it totally destroys us. <laughs> Isn't that annoying? I mean, oh, it's so annoying. So naughty. So <laughs> I'm naughty telling indeed. you, the boys in Benin were so mean. <laughs> and it could be one little child, you know, and you, before you can, you know, run up and catch up with that child. Oh, well, yeah, don't go. <laughs> oh. Maury, how about you? <laughs> I see you, you're laughing. Well, um, I, I feel like from everything that everybody has been saying, I don't know that Christmas changed. I think that maybe we all just grew up. Mm. Or is it in my head? Because yeah. everything that I've been saying has been when we were young, when we were single, when there was no kids. Mm. So maybe what if Christmas is still the way Christmas is, but we were just we all grew up. Old. I don't know. Or do you guys think it's just me? I just want to throw it out there. I, I think Noma can come in there. 
Okay, there's one thing that I actually miss, and that's the fact of someone telling me, you know, Norma, go up to your room and go and sleep. <laughs> when, 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 when it's time for lunch, you'll bring the we'll food and bring it there. And, because there, there, were, there were times when we were kids and mm. we would have a lot of visitors before we grew up and we were now the ones serving Seven. others. Thank you. We were kids and they would you know, lock us up in the room and tell us, stay there. And we'll be looking through the window and say, oh, I wish I was an adult. I'll be sitting down and they'll be it serving me food. You. Now, <laughs> with children, how many years down the line, you say, please, can you lock me up in the lock room? <laughs> so I can just relax and have fun. But either way, yeah, we're still catching the fun in between. Absolutely. All right, so Absolutely. let me bring in some of our audience. Um, <laughs> Merry Christmas, ladies. You all look beautiful. Thank you, Idris. Um, that's from Idris. My memorable Christmas experience is my mom dressing everyone like we all arrived on planet Earth the same day. <laughs> they call it Anko. Oh, my God. This is so, this is so my mother. So they were, they were oh, all yeah. wearing the same thing. Was, was very happy to grow up. That's from Leye. Leye, we are on the same WhatsApp group. <laughs> But no, I see you laughing. Did you do the uncle? You people have plenty in your family. No, we didn't though. do the uncle. Oh though. my goodness, that was a beautiful one, Leia, from Leia. Because we would, we used to wonder why was it so important that we all look alike, alike on Christmas Day for crying out loud, you know? And we were all eight of us, so you know, counting all the way down one, two, three, four, five. I it think, was I just think, hilarious. I like, think what was easy for the mothers to do. The same. Yeah, so mm. in Noma, I think what was easy for the mothers to do, eh? Actually, my mom, I'm just trying to calculate on her behalf. She cannot break. send me a message now. Mm -hmm. She will see a beautiful dress and she just calculates. Okay, I have, I'm can you give times. me 10 sizes? <laughs> just give me size two, <laughs> size one, size two, size three, size four. That is, so no. that is, a, that's that. You, you remember the quote you took yesterday, 25 minutes for... <laughs> You know, I, I think also it was because they had a lot of children to deal mm -hmm. with. So they couldn't have been bothered. It's not like us that we are having just two, three, you know. Now, they, they had like 10, 15 children. How can you start thinking of buying different clothes? Just give me one in different sizes. <laughs> okay, my stuff. Who um, are even... Who are even with the, the twos and threes, now that we're mothers, we understand. So even with the twos and threes, you just go for one, okay, that size, give me a size small, medium, and this. It's, it makes it easy. Yeah. <laughs> and you think less. Yeah, let me, let me, let's get more comments. Okay, this comment is from Rachel, and um, she says, Christmas is always a time for me to appreciate people around me. I spent my day reaching out and sharing love messages. A joyful and peaceful, um, a joyful and peaceful for me. Okay, I think joyful she meant and a joyful and peaceful, peaceful Christmas, Christmas for me. me. Yeah. I think that's what she meant. Yeah, is that all you, you yes, have? Yes, and no, and okay. one more. This is from Bimbo, and she says, or he says, I know we should be happy on this day. I'm grateful, but cannot seem to drop or stop reflecting and worrying about what is to come for Nigerians in 2021. Wow. Mm. I understand, mm, yeah. but look, Bimbo, live life for the moment. Mm. You know, you can't predict anything. God said, um, or the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus said, don't think about tomorrow. The fact that we survived from um, January, uh, January all, the way. all the way down to um, December, December. It's not because we were so we were so smart, but because God was so good. It's just to the grace us. of God. But I also you want know? to even talk about you know Noma. I mean, comparing you um, had to um, go all the way to Uyo to spend Christmas with family. Mm. Comparing the the atmosphere because you do this almost every year. Com comparing the atmosphere pre COVID and post COVID. How is Christmas like? You know, this year. You know, the atmosphere, you know, mm -hmm. in Uyo and all of that. Okay, well, um, the Christmas atmosphere was a little bit more um, humbling this time around. Um, everybody was being careful. We went out with our face masks, even though we were visiting family and um, friends. And uh, we were careful, you know, not to be all over the place mm -hmm. as much. In fact, we didn't even visit as much, mm. right? So, and then people were sort of tightening their belts a little bit more because 
um, things are not as it used to be. Everything is so expensive. If you don't have to cook, you do, you don't have to cook. Hmm. And if you're cooking, you're cooking because the number of people that need to eat it are there. I'm not just cooking. You know, before it was cooking and you expect and a lot of guests. To give this out. time around, we only cooked for family, you know, and any mm -hmm. extra one or two. So people were being more careful. And because of the COVID season, even right now, we, mm -hmm. we lost um, a dear person to us. Mm -hmm. Uh, who was even ch the chairman at my wedding? Wow. Um, yeah. who was who used to be a former governor of Akwaibom State. Wow. So, so yeah. it's it's really um, it's mixed feelings. Let me put it that way. It's mixed feelings. We're happy that we're with family, and uh, we have that opportunity. We actually didn't want to travel initially. But somehow, you know, we decided we we're going to go, but it was going to be a very quiet one. Hmm. And then losing people in between is also not allowing us to celebrate it the way we would normally have celebrated mm -hmm. it. Hmm. Big and not too big, but at least having visitors and friends. We didn't even have visitors come in mm. because everybody was just trying to be you have careful. to be safe yeah. so it's exactly. very different now mm. exactly. very different exactly. very different Mori didn't leave her house so she does not have it if i'm Mori, <laughs> you are just looking like you're not going to leave your house until you hear that the vaccine have arrived in nigeria <laughs> right i'm actually not going to leave i feel like i'm the only one that is not only me but a lot of people don't even care you see people walking on the street without masks mm. I was I was walking I was in the car I was driving my husband was the one driving and we saw one of his friends right not his friend but they used to like play ball together on the field and he was about to shake my husband and then my husband now brought his elbow out that's how the guy was saying uh, there's no corona shake me I wanted to knock his head <laughs> and I don't, I don't dare you to say that kind of nonsense but there exactly. are actually people who believe that. COVID is a propaganda and it's COVID is real. Is real. And because of that, they're just acting recklessly and not even mm. taking, you know, um, the appropriate measures to be able to curb this thing. And it's annoying. Mm. And there are a lot of them. They are, the, they are the reason why this thing is still as much as it is. Exactly. Mm. For me, I'm not, if I don't have to leave this house, I, I, I trust Mori. She's not planning to leave the house. Okay, so Ade has um, sent his message. Ade, Merry Christmas in the UK. He's, He's always, always sending, sending, us <laughs> sending messages, his messages. He says, compliment of the seasons to you ladies and your... Um, so compliment of the season to you and your family, ladies. I'm enjoying um, the Christmas with my family this year. In the UK, we have restrictions on family mm. meetings, meeting together for Christmas. So this is a Christmas mm -hmm. like no other. Regards, Adi. I, I completely agree with Adi because there's a lot of um, restrictions on... Um, Movement. A movement in, in the UK. In the UK. So Ayo, Ayo has sent in a text message. Today I finally read the text message. Oh, <laughs> it says, every Christmas is um, in those days our travels to our village um, from Ifaki, Ekiti to Ayetoro. But this year, when we got home, we all got home and down from our vehicle only to discover that our goat is, has disappeared. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we only saw the rope. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ayo, we are so sorry to hear about your goat. Oh, <laughs> no, you want to come in here because oh, honestly, people are hungry. hungry. There's going to be a lot of st hungry. stealing. Oh my gosh. No, I see you shaking your head. <laughs> they stole Ayo's goat. Like, oh. uh, I mean, uh, there's, there's a lot of hunger in the land. Uwa. Yes. So it's it's when you move around a little, when you move out of your comfort zone, that you actually see exactly. that a lot of people are struggling, mm -hmm. right? So it, it's also an eye opener for for everyone, basically, not just for us, but for everyone to to be conscious of other people. Mm -hmm. I mean, Christmas is about giving, it's about love, and it's about sharing. Mm -hmm. So when you are in I could share uh, Maureen's sentiments because when I went to the store, we went to the store and we were wearing our face mask and people were just looking at you like, oh, like this person must come from out of town or something mm. because this doesn't happen in Uyo. And uh, we noticed uh, a, a, a lady and her two kids and we said, oh, um, are they twins? And she said, oh, yes, that they're twins. She had um, fraternal twins. 
and she also has identical twins. And we're like, wow. oh, that's so beautiful. And then she was having a uh, difficulty with her AT, um, ATM, um, her ATM card. Mm -hmm. And um, we, my husband just said, you know what? Let's let's help her out in the spirit of Christmas. And we mm -hmm. paid for her bill. And she was so grateful. You know, she was so grateful. She was mm -hmm. like, oh, God bless you. We don't know her from anywhere. You know, we just decided to reach out. And um, he made a difference. So Absolutely. being conscious of the season and knowing that, first of all, you're grateful for life. Mm -hmm. You're grateful for family. You're grateful for love. And then mm -hmm. secondly extending that love to somebody, no matter how little. Mm -hmm. I heard you when you were saying you share chicken and you share food. That was the spirit. I grew up in Kaduna, yeah. so I know how it feels. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we had Muslim uh, um, neighbors, so at Salah, we would enjoy the experience. And at Christmas, we'll extend that. We'll reciprocate. So in the spirit of giving, Absolutely. this was what we grew up with. Mm -hmm. And um, in spite of what is going on, the COVID and the pandemic, mm -hmm. we must still be conscious about sharing love with others, no matter how little. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, there's there's no way to to say that you know um, better yeah. than what you've just said. Absolutely. You know, so I, I, you know because uh, when we're having fun like this, time is not never our friend. <laughs> but Norma, if you were going to say something like to give hope to people for um, because there's a lot of apprehension in the air, right? Um, mm -hmm. If you were to give hope, because this is a season that I think for me it births mm -hmm. hope that something good, you know, would still come out. At the end of the day, there'll be light at the end of the tunnel. So what would you say yeah. to someone, if you were going to give hope to anyone listening today, you know, how would you just, you know, talk to them? Well, um, wow, what would I say? I would say that, like I tell others when I've had the opportunity to have a conversation, I said, in this season, the only thing that made sense to me was God. Hmm. Thank you. That was the only constant in all of this. Mm -hmm. There was fear, there was uncertainty. There were times you'd say this, and then tomorrow is a different thing experience. But God and the assurance that he is with us, hmm. the season uh, birth Emmanuel, and Emmanuel means God, God with, with God us. With us. So more than ever in this season is making sense to me that God is with us. And as long as he's with us, um, there is hope. Absolutely. I don't know about others, but mm. God is the only thing that makes sense right now. And as long as he still exists, then tomorrow will come and we will be able to pull through. Yeah. Absolutely. How about you, Maury? How would you just give someone like a word of encouragement? Um, okay, so I'm going to also use the God factor, you know, because I was having a conversation with my friend and I was, we were talking about how people that don't believe in God, I don't know how they, I don't know how they survived this season, you know, because at a point it was almost what, the, it was almost the only thing every believer held on to, the fact that God is with me and he has said that he will see me through and that's the only reason I'm going to sleep tonight, yeah. you know, because it's not, there, nothing is in your control, like you cannot, you mm -hmm. can only say that this is what you want to do, you know, but tomorrow can come and then it comes with a different tone, so mm -hmm. you need that supreme factor and that has to be God, so just Put everything in God's hands. Always do like your own part, but don't over stress yourself Absolutely. if it's not going the way that you want it to go. It could be that God has a bigger, better plan for you, Absolutely. which is what happens most of the time. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Maury. How about you, Isi? <laughs> They've said it all. Hmm. But my take is this. Without God, we are nothing. Hmm. So the most important thing, hmm. I'll go back to Bimbor again. She or he, whoever Bimbor is, um, he needs to get it right. Mm. Don't be apprehensive. Look up to God. Yeah. Take your day a <laughs> step at a time. You'll Absolutely. be fine. Absolutely. I love Honestly. what you just said now because that was what I was going to say to everyone. Mm. Yes. I take my day one day at a time. Yes. I cannot kill myself. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. What you can do today, do it do effectively it right. and just trust God to, to take you through to the take rest of the days. The rest. Thank Absolutely. you so much, Namai Fanga. We had so much fun with you. Please 
please remember to rem remain our friend in 2021. <laughs> I'm going to bring in Alpha again, but it's been a very insightful conversation. Keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at Way Show Africa One or at um, uh, or, um, or at, on IG. Twitter and um, Insta and Facebook. So we'll continue to hear as we continue to hear what you're saying. Thank you again, ladies. Thank you, Isi. Thank you, Mari. Thank you, Namai Fanga. And I'm going to thank Alpha again. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Christmas is a season for kindling the fire of for hospitality in the hall and the genial flame of charity in the heart. Now, I'm going to sign off with um, Alpha Saleh playing us uh, a Merry Christmas song. We'll see you live on Monday at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation, you know, to your screen. Alpha, thank you again. So we're expecting you to sign us off with a Merry Christmas song to all our audience that watched today. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of our hearts. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much, Alpha Sally. Thank you, Noma. Thank you, Mari. Thank you, Isi. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs>